Hey guys, it's Tanya, and this is the Back to Basics WLS channel, and I'm your Tuesday vlogger. Um, today, I am going to go through a few questions. Um, somebody today on Facebook had posted uh, these questions, and I thought they were really interesting, so I kind of bumped what I was originally going to do for my topic today, and I'm going to go through these questions. This is from... Um, Somebody in the Back to Basics uh, Facebook group. Her name's Melissa Davis. I, I don't I don't know Melissa, but I thought she had some interesting questions. So she said, "This is for those of you um, who've gotten weight loss surgery already, and have uh, I have some questions for you. Um, you don't have to comment below, but you can always feel free to message me or email me. If you're in the Back to Basics group, you can find the um, the message. I don't want to necessarily broadcast her email address um, on uh, the channel, but." You can find it in the Facebook group, okay? Uh, number one, when you got to one year post-op, did you do anything special? And I did. I did um, a one year surge anniversary um, video, and I did kind of a letter to myself um, talking about the things that I had learned and um, kind of picked up along the way and the things that I appreciated. And I um, actually put on an outfit that was my favorite outfit um, prior to weight loss surgery and weight, losing the weight and kind of showed how much weight I'd lost. Um, also the week before my surgery anniversary, was it the week before? I think it was the week before. Um, I did, um, a 5k, a local 5k, uh, just to kind of commemorate, you know, how far I've come. And, um, that, I, that was kind of my celebration for my one year. <clears throat> Two, has anybody had... A problem getting in meals with a hectic schedule no um I have a very hectic schedule very hectic schedule and so um but I'm also like um you know with once I had VSG I really don't get like hungry you know I'll get like an empty feeling but I'm always been kind of a time eater um, I have this at breakfast time. I, I actually plan my meals out the day before or even for several days ahead of time and um, I eat basically the same thing. So even if I don't plan what I'm going to actually have for dinner, it's usually the, around, you know, three or four different meals that I, I always repeat over and over again. So um, I'll usually have it planned out that I'm going to eat this at this time and this at that time. And I know what meetings I have at work. I know what events we have um, after school for my kids. And so I kind of already have a plan for all those things. And if I know I'm going to be in a situation like we're out shopping or something on a weekend um, or we're traveling, I always have protein bars with me. Um, or like if I know I'm going to be out... And I'll bring a protein shake, like one of those um, like GNC Total Lean shakes, uh, just because as a backup. Like I'm not sure if we stop to eat somewhere, if, they, if we eat fast food, um, I may not have anything that I can eat at a fast food place because I really don't eat. I really don't eat any kind of fast food other than like Wendy's chili, which I know blah blah everybody eats that, um, but I don't even eat that that often anymore. And yeah, there's really nothing. If I got in a desperate situation, I might have like a chicken breast off of a grilled chicken sandwich from a fast food place, but I really don't eat that stuff. I usually, I'd rather have my protein bar or protein shake in my purse, and that's what I do. So I don't ever have a problem getting a meal in because you can always drink something. So, um, three, do any of you get those moments when you are so emotional and you wonder how you didn't? How you did it all, how did it all get here and lead you to the point of getting surgery? Uh, I think in the beginning, I um, would get sad sometimes about like how to let myself get so far out of whack that I needed weight loss surgery, but you kind of have to let that stuff go. Um, I, and this is all just my opinion and for my journey, but... Um, if you keep beating yourself up over what happened in the past, you're never going to be able to have a happy future. So, yeah, of course we all kind of question, oh, how did I let myself get to this point? But it happened. It's over with. You can't change the past, so just accept it and move on to make your future a better future. I really don't even think about that stuff anymore. And, you know, a lot of people say, you know, my one regret with having weight loss surgery is that I didn't do it sooner. But I don't even think that because I don't think mentally I was ready for it. 
before I actually had it. I don't think I would have done as well because I just wasn't in the right frame of mind. So, um, I, I just, I've let that whole, why did I let myself get to that point thing go. And it just doesn't really, that doesn't bother me anymore. It is what it is, and today is a new day, and I, I think probably it's as far out as I am now, what am I, like 16 months out now, I think, um, or 15 months, it's just become kind of more like, this is my, my regular life now, and I try not to think about, you know, not try not, not that I don't try not to think about, but I don't, I don't beat myself up over what happened in the past, so... Um, for what advice can you give uh, me because sometimes I have days where I see changes and other days I just see the same old me. I then start getting frustrated and a bit upset because I am following everything the doctor tells me. I think we all have those days. Um, I've been maintaining the same weight, you know, within a few pounds for, I don't even know, it's like seven months now maybe, something like that. And I still sometimes have days where I look at myself and I'm like, I don't look that much smaller. And then I think, you know what? Cuz I feel like like it's like those fat days where you just you just feel you, you know you, your weight isn't that much different but you just feel heavier. And um and I'll think, you know what? Um a fat person doesn't wear a small shirt. And I'm wearing small tops. So that is just ridiculous to think that I feel fat today because th that's just obnoxious and I know when I was heavier if I would have heard a person who wore a small shirt say I feel fat today I probably would have wanted to kill him so when I talk to myself that way and it kind of was what Julie was saying in her uh, vlog yesterday about you know how do we talk to ourselves you need to when you feel like you have those negative self-talk moments and you, you feel like you're not getting anywhere Take some time to go back and look at old pictures. Put together some side to side, um, side by side shots of before and now, and even if it's small changes, because you're really early out. I don't know how far out Melissa is, but um, you can. That was something that really helped me along. I think every month on my surgery, I did um, my slideshows, and in the beginning, I do the slideshows, and I think I don't really see that big of a difference. But boy, as time went on, I'd say after like the third or fourth month, I really started to see changes. And to look at from one month to the next month, you can't really see huge changes. But when you look at those pictures from early on to further out, you really can appreciate it. So when you're having those bad days where you feel like you're not getting anywhere and you're spinning your wheels, take some time to look back and appreciate that. Try on some old clothes if you still have some and notice how how much bigger they are for you now, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's hard sometimes to accept the changes. And, you know, I've said before that the way, when I, the way our bodies shrink in many ways, it's the same shape as it was before. And for me, that, that kind of messes with my mind sometimes because you, it, it still basically looks the same. It's just a smaller shrunken version. And so you can still envision that heavier person in your mind because the shape is still basically the same. But um, you just have to take time to have some positive self-talk and appreciate how far you've come. Um, but I think it's totally normal. I think I think we all have days like that. And I, all I can say too is keep following what your doctor says. If you, it, it really has nothing to do with the scale. Um, just keep working the plan and just have faith in that. The plan will work itself out. You know, you have bumps in the road along the way, but if you're eating the best you can and you're exercising, you're doing everything correctly, eventually things will kick into play and the weight will come off. So, you know, try not to think about the moment. Try to think long term. And am I living a healthy lifestyle? Not necessarily am I meeting my goal weight, okay? Um, because... Living a healthy lifestyle should be the main goal, not the size that you get in and not the, the total pounds lost. It should be that I'm um, off my medicines um, and I'm making healthy food choices and I'm exercising. If all those things fall into place, the weight and the sizes will find their way to where they're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, and then the last question is, have any of you after surgery at times... Um, 
see maybe you're anxious a lot or panic and feel depressed at times. Um, what are some things that help you get out of that? Well, I can tell you, I've never really had like anxiety issues. Um, but I think if you had anxiety issues prior to surgery, this losing the weight's not going to help that. And in some ways, it's probably going to aggravate it a little bit just because it's change, you know. And people just, humans just have problems accepting change. Uh, and it takes time. So I can't really speak to the anxiety or um, depression. I just, I... Luckily, I have not had those issues, but I know there's a lot of um, WLS people um, who have had those issues, and it's, I don't think it's necessarily WLS people. I think probably in the normal population of people, people have anxiety and depression issues, and um, having weight loss surgery is either going to aggravate it, or at least you're going to have the emotional ups and downs. You, the hormones hormone changes after weight loss surgery are going to cause some emotional issues, you know? So what I would say for that is if you're feeling really anxious and depressed, talk to a doctor. Um, they could prescribe some medication to help you get through a rough patch or, um, uh, they may, you know, recommend a therapist that you can talk to um, that may help you just work through some of those issues. Um, but I do know a lot of people do experience that. I just happen to not have um, those issues. So um, I hope, Melissa, I hope I helped you. I hope you don't mind me using your questions in my vlog today. But I just, I really thought they were very uh, good, intriguing questions. So I wanted to say, too, uh, a couple of uh, things. One, thanks for all the comments on the videos that I did with my husband. We got a lot, a lot, a lot of good, positive feedback. And I hope we help some of the other spouses out there. Uh, answer some of their questions. It was fun to do something with my husband, and I'm really surprised that he um, he did that with me. He's a very shy, private person, uh, so um, I know it took a lot for him to say okay and to do that with me. So thanks, honey, if you're watching, and thanks to everybody who commented. Also, congratulations to the Back to Basics uh, Facebook group. Uh, we were nominated for a couple of the WLS 2013 awards from Diva Tanya. And, um, you know, just go out there and vote. I'll put a link to the, um, the website where you can go vote for us. And, um, which I'm just really excited. And I was nominated for, uh, sleeve patient of the year or my favorite sleeve patient. So, if you feel like voting for me, I appreciate it. But um, vote for who you know you, you, you think is the, the are the best choices for all the different categories. And I know there was several nominees that I was not familiar with, so I'm going to take some time to go seek them out and see um, what their stories are about. But there were some really awesome people th in the Back to Basics groups and um, that were nominated, so um, I encourage everybody to go vote. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful week, and I will see you back here next Tuesday on the Back to Basics WLS channel. Bye, guys.